All right, guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So today's video is kind of out in left field. I hope you guys will just bear with me while I explain it. If you watch the whole video, I think it'll make sense to you. Now, one of the things that comes with having a homestead, be it on grid, off grid, anything else, is you have to look at laundry because you'd be amazed how big an expense that is. Now, I got into hanging up clothes because of the fact that our electric bill was spinning out of control. So now I have solar, all right? I've done so many things like put a timer on the hot water tank. I have used, now have a wood burning furnace to heat the house. I've done everything I can. So you start looking for ways to save even more money on your electric bill. One of the ways we do that is by hanging up our clothes year round. Now don't get me wrong, we still use a dryer. If we're in a hurry or you know, it's a real wet, wet day, and there's lots of moisture in the air, yeah, we use a dryer. When we've got some insanely big blanket we don't want to deal with, yes, we use the dryer. It's important to use your dryer if you have one every once in a while. All right, that keeps animals from making nests in it, and basically keeps it up and running. Now, that said, if you look it up online, they're gonna say it's 30 to 40 cents per load you dry, is how much it's gonna cost you. Now, that's based on your local rate. I actually find that number to be way off, um, in my testing with a standards type dryer like this, it is actually closer to 65 cents. That's at my rate. The taxes and fees have to be added in. That's what they don't do. So my actual rate is about 13 to 14 cents here with AEP, but it actually ends up blending out with the taxes and fees to being almost 23 cents. So that said, those are under perfect conditions. Now, if you had kids like us that love to overload the dryer, it's going to take two cycles to get it done. So guess what? You just doubled that. Or if you have a dryer that's starting to fail, that the heat is not as good in it, the element's starting to go bad, it takes two times to get them dry. Multiple ways to look at this. Now, there's another side to this that's very important that I want to mention in the beginning part of this video is the cost of appliances, period. I used to, when we had the boys here, get dryers that were returns at like rent to own for like 50 or $75 and they deliver those to us. Nowadays, you can't find a used dryer that's worth anything at all for less than about $100, $150 around here. When you wanna go buy new, the cheapest one you're gonna find is probably three or $400 for just a standard style like this. Don't even get me started on the front loader deals because those use so much power, they tell you they don't, but they do. Okay, so, the reality is this costs so much to replace and these are much like a car because when I had all the boys here we were doing you know four to five loads of laundry a week it seemed like counting towels you would end up wearing out a dryer in two or three years so you have to add that cost into what you're saving per load by hanging them up that can get very expensive that's where this really saves you a bunch of money because much like a car, the more miles you put on it, the sooner you're going to have to replace it. It's just the law of how it works. You know what I mean? There's only so many things you can get out of it. But that said, hanging up just a little bit of your clothes can actually save your washing machine and dryer, I mean your dryer, a lot longer. And it's super simple. The other thing about it I like is all of us like to sit down and watch TV or binge watch or read or do whatever. It's good to get up every once in a while and just move around. It actually is really good for your health. The more you get up and move, the better. Now, I have a lot of opportunity afforded to me on how I can hang up my clothes. You may not have the same, but I want to mention some options and some ways to do it that might work for you and ways we do it that you may not have you know, access to. So first thing I want to say is you can go to Dollar Tree and get clothespins, huge pack of them for $1.25. You can also get clothesline that you can hang up for $1.25. So $2.50, you have basically what you need. Now, if the weather's nice, obviously you want to hang them up outside. Now, how we do it when we hang our clothes up is we will put them on hangers if we're going to hang them inside. If we hang them outside, anything that normally goes on a hanger, like shirts, pants, stuff like that that we hang in our closet, we go ahead and put them on a hanger. Now, outside a lot of times we'll just put the socks straight on the line, shorts straight on the line, stuff like that. My boxers go straight on the line because those things get folded. 
and put away. So there's not a real lot of reason to put them on hangers. Now when they're inside, because of the limited space, we will close pin them to a hanger and then hang them up because it allows for more stuff to go on it. You can put a whole bunch of socks on the top edges of the rail of it and then across the bottom you can hang like boxers and shorts on it or hook them on with clothes pins to make a bunch of them fit on there. Now in the summer it's outside it's fine but I know a lot of you maybe you have apartments and you can't do that. So another good option is if it has one a closet rod. You know there may be one like we have here above your washing machine that works real good to put them up there and just dry it out it really doesn't take that long you're standing right here boom 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 just shuffle them up a lot of times this is my first go-to because it's just easy now another option is to hang it on your towel racks or your shower curtain rod in your bathroom this is one that we utilize a lot in the winter because the way our wood burner works our bathrooms get real hot so I will actually shut the door and the air moves through there as it's pumped in from the wood burner and it actually dries them really well it's really amazing now an option that we have that a lot of people may not have is we have our wood burning furnace in a building outside and what that affords us is a room that gets extremely hot so I took two pieces of PVC pipe and screwed it to the rafters that would give me a place to be able to hang the clothes up on up by the ceiling where it's the hottest. Now, doing this will dry clothes in like two hours if we've got a fire going out there. If we are putting up like towels, it's about four hours. If it's like something wet like hunting clothes or something, that probably takes about six hours flat. Now. Please understand that you can't just do like you probably normally do, which is just you got a Saturday afternoon, you're going to run all your clothes straight through. It's a little different than that. You have to think ahead a little more to do it this way. But that's only because of space constraints. Now, they do have what's called a laundry cart. You may have seen them in laundry mats that they sell at like Walmart, Nike, and all them. And it's just a, a basket with an actual bar over top to hang clothes on. If you have a wood burner, buying one of them for less than 20 bucks might be the way to just push it over there, buy your wood burner, hang your clothes on it and be done. Personally for us, what we like to do is do one load every couple days and then be able to hang them up, give them time to fully dry before doing another load. If we are going to do like a Saturday thing, then I'll make sure it's a day when the wood burner is going or we have tons of sun and I'll just do two loads throughout the day about six hours apart. It really is not that hard, but the savings do add up. And the, also the wear and tear on your dryer does wear, add up too, because the savings isn't so much in what you're saving on the electric. I mean, it is, we here do three to four loads a week, depending upon what's up with the dogs, because we wash their dog stuff, their blankets and their pillows and stuff a lot too. So we end up probably doing, I mean, call it 250, maybe a week we save, maybe $2 a week, I don't know. But that adds up. I mean, you do that over 52 weeks out of the year, that really adds up. But that what adds up is that you make your dryer last for another two, three, four, five years maybe. That will save you a lot of money because things are not getting any cheaper. It seems silly and, and it may be, it may not be an extreme you want to go to. I just wanted to share the numbers with you and share how we do this because I feel that for some people if you're having say a Netflix and chill day you know you're hanging out watching the football game get up during halftime or get up in between episodes of whatever you're binge watching come in hang up a load of clothes start another one go watch your show whatever and you can use the dryer in between the loads even whatever it takes I'm just telling you this is another way to decrease your electric bill get your clothes dry and save a little bit of money as well as the headache because the worst part about changing a dryer is having to take it outside and bring the new one in that's the biggest pain of everything but with that said I hope you found this somewhat enjoyable anybody who has ideas on how they dry their clothes to improve a system please share with the community down below and if you haven't already and I don't know why you wouldn't have by now go down hit that subscribe button join the family make sure that you leave us a comment leave us a like 
and make sure you hit the notification bell so you see all of our other upcoming videos and we will see you in the next one.